Hello YouTube and welcome to Network Playroom. In this video we're gonna look at the last OSPF packet type or packet type number 5 which is the link state acknowledgement packet. Now this video is gonna be quick because as you can see on the screen there's not much to the link state acknowledgement packet. It really is a list of the LSA headers being acknowledged. So if you remember from my previous videos the router sends LSAs in a link state update message to its neighbor. So the link state acknowledgement message is used to, well, acknowledge those packets. This packet is signaling to the router, hey, I've received the LSAs you sent me. Thank you. And uh, uh, multiple LSAs can be acknowledged in a single packet. But yeah, as I mentioned, the link state acknowledgement packet really consists of nothing more than an OSPF packet header and a list of LSA headers. So here you can see a simplified representation of the packet. So you have the LSA header for the first LSA all the way up to number n. And really that's the key thing to remember here, that these are LSA headers and not full LSAs. Okay, let's jump to the packet capture again so you can see what the link state acknowledgement packet actually looks like. So I have the same packet capture open here. We've looked at this before in my previous videos. So let me scroll down a little bit and try to find the link state update that we were looking at. I believe it was this one. So I'm just going to open this up quickly so you can see what the actual full LSA looks like. So here, remember, we had the router LSA. So just quickly glance over these fields and then the network LSA. So you can see there's quite a lot of information in the link state update. And now let's just find a link state acknowledgement just to compare that it is actually just the link state header in um, the link state acknowledgement packet. So as you can see here, there's less information in the router LSAs and the network LSA compared to the uh, link state update that we just looked at. I don't know if you can notice the difference. I mean, for example, these stub fields are missing and the attached routers from the network LSA. Again, you see in the router LSA there's no stub and in the network LSA you can't see any attached routers. But again, you don't need to worry about the details now. We'll look at that in another video. But that's it for the link state acknowledgement. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.